Hello friends, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series. In this series, we are covering questions on system design. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, why do we use Docker in software architecture? So Docker is a very good component and most of you might have used it. But the reasoning behind that, you can be asked this question, why exactly do we use Docker? Why, what is a container? Like, what? like you know what is the space docker has in software architecture right and the reasoning behind the popularity of docker so that way it's good to understand the reasoning that so let's see docker i mean is an open source software that we are using and we need in a, any software system or like whenever we are running it we need some form of hardware and operating system on which software has to run right so first we have a hardware then we have operating system then only the software is run so let's say you're developing a java program so your java binary has to be on some operating system now docker is a software tool that makes it easier to create deploy and run applications on different kinds of hardware by using containers so the, in the earlier version like we have to deploy like different kind of binaries for different operating systems but now with docker we can run the same application on different kinds of hardware just by creating a container so container is an important concept so let's understand what is a container so what happens is that like if you see this diagram we had an infrastructure like different cloud different server different things then we have the host operating system on that and then you have hypervisor in a virtual machine right so you have that virtual machine that is established now on top of that you create a guest operating system and on that guest operating system you have binaries and then your applications will run right so that's how the virtual machine will work so you have so many layers in this whereas like in case of docker you have an infrastructure on top of that infrastructure you have a docker engine that can like you know encapsulate the operating system by using the like binaries of the operating system that you need and you don't need to install like only the docker engine has to be there and then on top of that you don't need any guest operating system right you can just have your container that contains application and the binaries so you can use those kind of things and straight away on a docker engine you don't need a guest os if you see guest os is so heavy in a virtual machine right so by using a container a developer can package uh, an application with all the part it needs so i mean if you are developing something on your machine you can con like create a container from your machine itself and that will be deployed as it is on the docker engine in production environment or end-to-end -end environment right so all the parts like libraries other dependencies that can be contained in a container and then you can deploy it as one package so in this way there is no need to install like operating system and manage the libraries to run the software in general like if you see we have to manage different kind of uh, like operating systems uh, for production or we have to keep updating with different patches and all that right so in in the case of container we don't need all of these right so we can package everything as a container and just deploy it it makes the life much easier then docker uses os level virtualization for delivering software in containers so i mean if you have windows like if you have windows 8 or linux windows 10 like or mac os or different kind of operating systems and you can use that virtualization within the docker and then on top of that all you need is like provide your binaries and that container image is created and that can be deployed on that specific operating system and things will start working so this os level virtualization is done so there's no need to have a virtual machine where you have to have a hypervisor and then install your new host operating system that is not required so docker makes life easier in such a case another part is that every container in docker is isolated from other containers like if you see this example there's a kernel then container one has tomcat java debian and container two has php mysql and ubuntu so all they are independent right and they are isolated from each other and each container will come with their own software so like one container has like php other has tomcat so all these software libraries and configuration they are specific to that container so they don't do any intermixing that keeps things pretty independent 
and on the same machine you can have multiple containers you can run right and the container can communicate with other containers and all the containers will be run by a single operating system kernel right so that way it keeps like you know much easier that you have single kernel but multiple containers can run so it can improve your performance and you can maximize the use of your compute resources like you know you on same server you can have multiple containers that can run and another thing is that container will use lesser resources than a virtual machine in a virtual machine you really need to install a heavy gas operating system that will like take up a lot of memory it will take up a lot of uh, disk drive like you know drive space and all so whereas in a docker case the container will have only the minimum set of libraries that are needed to run that application that way with their containers are isolated they will share like the os down like as a host but they don't need any guest operating system so they can just use the like optimum number of resources that are needed to run the application now coming up to the benefits of the container especially docker and docker increases the portability so portability we have a video lecture on portability watch it to understand what exactly it means so in short portability means that you can use the same software on different platforms like different hardware different operating system so that is a portability so like in this case you can have same container that can be run on google cloud platform it can run on amazon web services it can run on ibm it can run on azure so that can be run on different operating systems like linux windows cloud or even in data center like so that increases the portability if you use docker so same software can be run on multiple platforms with consistent behavior that is also a key that you are getting consistent behavior same behavior when you are running like the container on different platforms you don't need to modify that for each platform then comes standardization so when we use docker containers then we have standard deployment so you can use ci cd you can use your jenkins just to deploy it like in continuous integration and continuous and deployment so you can deploy it deliver it to different environments with the same steps you don't need to follow different steps to deploy on different environments so that thing becomes standardized <clears throat> so deployment delivery as well as even testing build all these things become quite standard when you use docker container then continuous integration we follow the continuous integration practices so the efficiency of continuous integration is increased when we use docker containers so you can use the same container at every stage of the ci pipeline so let's say from your development machine local machine you created a container the same container will go for your like unit testing then it will go for your let's say first level of testing for functional tests second it goes for end-to-end -end tests and then it goes for performance tests so all like always all the places same container can go and then finally to the production also so using ci pipeline you can keep transferring same container then come the benefit of easy configurations when we use docker containers it's easy to configure the software so you can like make it very fast configuration changes if your package your software is packaged in a container that is another good benefit you can save a lot of time and there are containers that are deployed on thousands of servers all of those can be changed with the configuration very fast because like docker has like that docker compose and you can just change there and that way configurations can be changed rapid deployment like nowadays uh, when you have to scale up or scale down if you have to install your operating system install your like binaries and then install your application it will take much longer time whereas with the container you can rapidly like whenever you need a to scale up the system so you can rapidly deploy multiple containers on different different nodes and that way you can have a very good scale of the system right and the scale up scale down both the things are possible with docker containers so all these big companies like google amazon they use these kind of container system so that they can uh, handle that like so much spikes in the traffic very efficiently another benefit of docker is on security that since each docker container will run in isolation it's quite a secure option to run a software so like containers are isolated they are not sharing those resources 
so they have their inbuilt like operating system mechanisms that they are calling those binaries so that security is also a good benefit that we get as a docker container all right so that's all from the docker uh, perspective do remember the important points like portability standardization security rapid deployment continuous integration that comes with the docker containers if you have further questions do let us know in your comments we'll be happy to answer that all right thank you and uh, subscribe to this channel so that we can uh, keep sending you more updates and you are always uh, up to date with the latest knowledge